It's time to cook with Susan Beck. Today I'm going to make for you bacon-wrapped spinach stuffed chicken breast. My daughter recently moved off to college and is living in an apartment and it's great to see her putting some of her cooking skills that I've taught her over the years to use. And in that process, she is finding recipes that she is sending to me. And one of them that she has shared is this bacon-wrapped spinach stuffed chicken breast. She made it for us actually when she was home over um, winter break. So we are going to use two large chicken breasts for this recipe that I will set to the side for a moment as we put our filling together. We are going to use some spinach. I have fresh spinach that I bought in a bag and I have washed, um, you want about a cup full? I got like a big handful. Then we will be using a half cup mozzarella cheese two ounces of cream cheese that I've had sitting out for um, probably 20-30 minutes to soften it up. When deciding how much cream cheese to use, the wrapper comes with a little guide on there telling you how much is two ounces. We will be wrapping that in our bacon. We will season it with salt, pepper, and some red pepper as well. I'm going to cook this up with um, asparagus and some baked potatoes to turn it into an entire meal today. I'm just going to give my spinach a small cut to turn these into smaller leaf pieces rather than these giant ones. And then I will be adding that to the cream cheese as well as the mozzarella. So into here, mozzarella cheese, cream cheese, and the spinach. I'll just take my spoon, get the rest of that spinach here, and mix that together. The cream cheese will help hold everything together a little bit, but it's just gonna go into a slit in our chicken breast, so it's not a huge deal on if it's all real sticky or anything just using the back of my spoon to kind of mash that um, cream cheese because it appears to not be super soft even though I've had it out for a little while. Oh, this is just such a tasty meal with all these good flavors and you just get that melted cheese and the crispy bacon and um, that salt pepper and a little bit of red pepper just gives it a nice little flavoring as well. Okay, so that's going to go into our chicken breast. So these are fairly ch thick chicken breasts, which is good for this. And I am going to just slit these by cutting across. But I do not want to go all the way through. I want to make kind of a pocket or maybe like a pita. I'll give you a closer look as I cut the second one. Right, here's that first chicken breast just split open. We're going to take the second one here and do the same. I think I've got a little spot here that I might like to remove that looks kind of tough and grisly. I've talked before about not wanting tendons and things like that. So I'm going to get rid of that and then I'm just going to slice through. Again, I don't want to break through the other side. So I just made this like little pocket in here. And then into there goes my fillings. So cream cheese, mozzarella cheese, and spinach. I'll put in there as much as I can fit. And do the same thing with the other one. Get another spoonful here. And put that all inside. Mm, all that yummy goodness and that green just gives it a nice coloring as well. A little left, so I'm gonna see if I can fit it in this chicken breast over here. Okay, the next step is to wrap these in bacon. So I have two slices of bacon per chicken breast, and I am going to wrap that around and take another one and wrap it around. And my daughter made this um, the first time she followed the recipe that was given where it said to chop the bacon and put it inside, but she found that the bacon didn't really finish cooking well, where if you wrap it around the outside, you get nice crispy finished bacon like you would serve at breakfast rather than, you know, when a bacon's not cooked, it's really kind of hard to chew and things. Um, 
and you know kind of wrapping it more like you might have a steak fillet or something. So there are wrapped chicken breasts. To finish this off, I'm going to just put a little drizzle of olive oil on the bottom, set my stuffed chicken breast on the top of that. With the parchment paper that I'm using, it really shouldn't stick anyway. And I love parchment paper for something like this because that bacon could, you know, crisp onto this um, jelly roll pan and be a pain for cleanup. But with this um, parchment paper, I can just, you know, pick it all up, wrap it up, and be done with it. All right, so there are my beautiful chicken breasts. I am going to give them just a sprinkle of red pepper. Again, if you don't like spicy things, just leave that off. Spices are always, you know, optional. A little fresh ground pepper and a little bit of salt on the top. And now I am ready to just garnish it with just the slightest bit of mozzarella cheese that can kind of melt. It's another reason for the parchment paper because um, that cheese might melt onto my cookie sheet and kind of burn there a little bit because some of it's going to probably roll off. Our chicken breasts are going to go into a preheated oven, preheated to 400 degrees, and I'm just going to cook that in the middle of the oven. These will take between 25 to 35 minutes. They are pretty good sized chicken breasts there. I want my juices to run clear, or I could use a meat thermometer where I would want my temperature at 170 degrees. A little word with that. You don't have to get it quite to 170 degrees as your meat sits and rest before you serve it. It will continue to rise in temperature a bit. Oh, now don't those just look absolutely delicious? What a fancy looking entree that you could impress your family or friends with. These are very large chicken breasts. So for my family, I cut these into two pieces each and I can serve four people along with the asparagus and the baked potatoes that I'm going to make to finish off this meal tonight. Now you can see here as well that I've got cheese and drippings that have fallen onto this pan. And this is just going to be so easy to clean up by just kind of wadding up that parchment paper and throwing it into the garbage. So I'm going to go ahead and cut one of these chicken breasts in half. Slice right through that bacon and that yummy filling in there. All right, we'll serve that up on my plate here. Oh, you can just see that nice filling through there. And that meat has cooked well and the juices are running clear. I'm going to cut off a little piece. Oh. Get a little bacon with that as well, so that I have that creamy cheese filling along with a little bacon and spinach and chicken. Mm. Those fav flavors are just fabulous together. Mm. Enjoy.